probably already know this, but this brass catcher is a piece of crap. You know, they're 10, 15 bucks, depending upon where you get them. And honestly, they don't, they don't do the job. Um, granted, I don't know what, you know, 15, you know, what you can expect to get for $15. Um, here's the problem. As you can see, the bag drops down immediately, but there's all this, you got all this space, so you need something to come out so that the op, so there's an opening. I don't know. Watch the muzzle there. So see, it, it makes an L shape immediately. Anyways, I'm just going to shoot it. I'll show you. So you pinch it like that to get it to open. The Velcro strap, it slips. Anyway, let's just, uh, let's just shut up and shoot there. Let's see here. Where is the target? I know, you tell me. There's one on the ground. Oh yeah, see it's setting right here. So you go like that, bump your spot and scope. Pinch it up, hug it up, pinch it up, hug it up. Save your brass. Anyway, for 15 bucks, if you want something to kind of knock it and set it right here, that's about all it's good for. Um, you're not going to get that much more out of it. Um, I recommend these other hard plastic ones. They hook into the an A3 rail right there, and then it hooks on. You take it off. You can put it on another gun. Um, that one I've seen is a lot better, and I think I'm actually going to get one. And uh, I'll do a review, but as for this thing, it's you, honestly you're wasting your money unless you like it set right there. One other thing, you're sitting here like this, you know, finger on the side, and you shoot a couple, and then it sets right here, and then it sets hot brass sets on your finger. Not so fun. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on another one.